welcome back to my channel welcome back to another day in the life this has really become like a favorite on my channel so i'm trying to give you guys more day in the lives if you're new here welcome welcome to my internet home i am so glad you are here basically my name's erin and i have a digital marketing and video production company that i own based out of Detroit, Michigan. I work from home most of the time, but I do help people build their brands and build their business through social media, through video storytelling. And so I have a really, really fun job and a really cool business that has been growing, growing, growing. And so um, the day in the life is basically just take you guys on my journey with me as I'm growing my business. Right now, I live with my parents. I've converted um, this into my office space and yeah, it's just been cool to just kind of take you guys along the ride with me. So, I offer lots of branding advice, lots of social media advice, lots of marketing and video storytelling advice. And so if you're interested, you're always welcome to stick around. This is starting off a little differently for all of my veteran subscribers. I'm already dressed for the day. I went and got coffee. I had a dentist appointment this morning. So, uh, I didn't really want to bring y'all up into the dentist, but... Your girl is nice and clean. Today, I'm gonna be batch recording some YouTube videos. Today is Monday and it's time to get to work. So let's do the top three. Okay, so today we're gonna aim to record three YouTube videos. Actually, I should write record right there. Record three YouTube videos. I find that I can't really batch more than three at a time. My energy starts to get really, really low. So record three YouTube videos, um, my live lesson slides. And then I also need to meal prep. I might not get to that today though. But this is what the top three is looking like. Bam, let's get into it. So YouTube, let's get my outlines done. I cannot talk right now. This is my friend. She's from South Africa. I have a very huge subscriber base in South Africa. Hey, all of my South African friends. You guys are awesome. I lived in South Africa for six months when I studied abroad there at University of Cape Town. Best experience. One of the best decisions I've ever made. All right, so one thing that I do like to do is I keep a nice list in Asana. So I do a lot of my project management in Asana. This is a little bit of what the interface looks like. Okay, so she says, guess what? So I'm gonna call her back really quick. Hold on. You're coming to America? I'm coming to America. Like when? Like in a week's time, like next month. For what? For visiting you for fun. Yay! Also, you're in the vlog. Say hi to the people. Hi, Kiva. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so exciting. So I use Asana for all of my task management. I block things off by the month and put video ideas. I put what's in, you know, editing, what's in filming, what's being outlined. And it's a pretty great platform. I have some day in the lives. Day in the lives are a little harder to plan on my content calendar just because I don't always know when I'm going to be recording a day in the life. But I generally have two day in the lives down the pipe, if that makes sense. So I try to keep two kind of in my bank of like finished days. So right now I have one and I'm recording one right now. The goal is to release one day in the life every week. And some weeks I have like two or three days where I'm like, okay, I can record day in the life for these three days because I have cool things going on. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but that's pretty much how it goes. And then I fill in with the more sit down videos, the things that I can batch record. I personally don't see how people can have like full vlogging channels because batch recording really is like my savior. It makes life so easier when you can have things scheduled out and ready to go and you're not worrying about recording, editing, you know, you're not on this like rabbit spinning cycle of like, what am I doing? What's coming down the pipe? You have an idea of what you're doing. I'm going to go do my makeup really quickly. Um, usually for YouTube, it takes me about 30 minutes to do my makeup because, um, I like to do it real cute for y'all, okay? So I'm gonna 
do my makeup, and then I'm going to record. I'm in my bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and put my makeup on. Um, I am going to do, because so many of you guys asked for a hair tutorial. Thank you guys so much for loving my hair. And I know, I have told you guys, no, I'm not doing no hair video because this channel is not about to turn into no hair channel. But I will show you guys um, what I do to my hair. I'm going to do a prep for YouTube or like... Yeah, like a prep for YouTube, how I get camera ready video. And I'll show you guys how I do my hair and how I do my makeup. So, wait for that video to come up. I do have braids right now, so obviously I can't do that video just yet. But as soon as I take my braids down, I will go ahead and film that video for you guys. So, um, it'll be more on how I prep to get camera ready. Um, and I think you guys will... I think you guys will enjoy that anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup really quickly sometimes when i record i do put a little primer on because i don't want my skin to start looking oily but i only really put it in my t-zone because i don't want my face to be too matted Okay, so it's time to record. Let me turn the music off before they before they write my page up, channel up. Um, so I'm done with my makeup. I think it looks pretty good today. Some days I have better days than others, but I baked a little up under my eyes today, so I feel like I look good. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is usually after I do my makeup, I pick out what I'm going to record in. I'm actually just going to record in this plain t-shirt. Um, and then I need to pick two more outfits or two more tops out because I'm going to record two more videos. And then usually in between... Okay, I'm just going to sit this here. My room is a little bit junky right now, so don't judge me. Alright, so now that my makeup is done, the next thing I usually do is pick out... Um, my outfits for recording and usually I just switch out my top because that's all you guys can see when I do my sit down videos And I'm actually going to record my first video in this now The good thing about batch recording is that when I do my makeup I don't have to like wear makeup a whole lot during the week I pretty much only wear it when I have meetings or when I'm recording and if I have a meeting and I make my face I try to have a video ready for me to record so that way I don't waste my face or that outfit either and I can have a video you know lines up and record it I might switch my lipstick but that's it I don't change my you know my eyeshadow or anything so I always keep the same face and just swap out either my shirt my lips my earrings maybe but other than that I keep it real simple because the videos are pretty spread out so you guys might see one sit down video a week um, if I'm uploading twice a week, you may see one day in the life, one sit down video. So over the course of like three or four weeks, you guys aren't like, oh my gosh, that's the same eyeshadow that she had on in the last video. Or maybe you are, I don't know. I don't really care. But it just is so much more efficient with time. And then if I have some spare time while I'm traveling or if I'm working on the go, I can edit on the go and I have footage for videos coming down the pipe. That's kind of how I do my batch recording. So I'm going to pick out my um, other two shirts or dresses or whatever I end up picking out and then I'll let you guys see what those are and then we can go downstairs I'll show you my outlines and then we'll start recording These are my two outfits. You guys will probably only see this much of it. So I try not to spend too much time trying to pick out clothes because you guys don't see that much of my body <laughs> in the videos. So it's not that huge of a deal. I'm so hungry. 
so hungry. Mm -mm. So I'm just finishing up some outlines. I just want to quickly show you. I do do some research on YouTube before I create my videos. And then my outlines, this is on paper, but sometimes I do it on my iPad. I like to outline all of my videos before I even get started. So what I will do before I pick the topic. Well, first of all, I have a long roster of topic ideas in Asana. Um, but today I didn't really have it mapped out of like which ones I wanted to record. And I also didn't have any outlines. So I guess that's good for this content purpose, but it's not necessarily good for me when I have to outline and record in the same day. I try to make my video outlines before the day that I record. So that way I can just get ready, knock the videos out and move on to the next thing I have to do. But today, it's not that kind of day so I did have to do my video outlines and usually in the outlines just really quickly I just write down the top key points in the video if you haven't seen my videos before it's very listicle it's like listicle type videos where I'm like the first tip is the second tip is the second the third thing is you know so that's how my videos are formatted when it's an informational video I will write down the topic of the video and then I'll write down my discussion points and like I'll put some bullets underneath it so that I know exactly um, where I'm going with that point so that I don't get distracted or go off on a tangent that's basically what I do I don't do anything crazy there are some tricks to kind of increasing your watch time based on your YouTube script you can definitely start your video off with something similar every single time that way you can plunge right into the video um, another thing is like I said, having some sort of format that's easy to follow. And I find that breaking the video up into like, this is tip one, this is tip two, this, this is tip three, helps the viewer follow along a lot better, especially when it's added with some text. So before each tip, I kind of flash some text over the screen so that you guys can see what the tip is, you can read it, it just pulls the, the viewer into the video a little bit more. And then another thing I do in my videos is I will always reference another one of my videos that definitely increases channel watch time, which is very important. That helps to create more bingeable um, channels and content. So definitely link other videos into your video as you think about or as you talk about certain things. And that's also something that I put in my outline, like mention, you know, um, this past video right here. That's another tip for outlining. So yeah, so I just do a little bit of research before I go ahead and start recording, like during my outlining process. And I will show you guys, you know, I look at the headlines. This video is, I'm thinking about doing one on how to negotiate. And I have TubeBuddy right here that shows me, you know, if this is a good topic to do a video on for my channel. And it says it is very good because the search volume isn't super high, but also the co competition isn't high. Um, so it has decent search volume, but the competition isn't high, which means that it would be a great video for me to do. So that's something that I'm thinking about um, doing a video on. I can go in there and actually um, look at all the tags he's used. Also, um, it'll tell me kind of what his channel looks like, what my channel, you know, a comparison of our channels. Obviously, he has 1.9 million followers you know how many subscribers we've gained how many views we have and this is just in YouTube so if you have the TubeBuddy plugin on on your computer you will get a lot of great stats if we go into one of these videos if we go into one of these videos when we scroll down TubeBuddy will show you how many views the video got and then it'll show you the tags now you can show the tags by ranking so then if I wanted to come and make a video similar to this I could use all of these top tags in my video to optimize it to kind of get a leg up on him so that's just a little bit of my process of outlining researching all of the stuff that I kind of do before I sit in front of the camera and record so that's just a little bootleg tutorial on TubeBuddy. If you're thinking about using it, I think it's a great resource. Um, it's a great way to get better insight. It is just a great tool. I've been using it for quite a while now and 
I'm loving it. So that is another thing that I do before I record is I look up stuff on TubeBuddy. Now I don't do this for every single video, but I have begun <laughs> integrating TubeBuddy into my YouTube process. Okay, so I'm actually only going to record two videos today because I am ill prepared. Welcome to my world. So every day is not super organized, honestly, like, a lot of days are not and so um i'm just keeping it real i don't have three videos prepared and it's getting later into the day it's um it's a little after 4 p.m and i don't want the lighting to change too too much so i'm just gonna go ahead and record two videos i am doing this day in the life so technically that's three videos in one day which is perfect i was aiming for four but you know what life happens and you just got to kind of roll with it so i'd rather not waste any more time trying to do more research more outlining for another video and just get this video out the way so what i'm gonna do is do my setup which is my camera and microphone and if you guys are interested in knowing my gear just like i said in the previous thing always try to link to another video because that keeps your channel watch time going up if you guys are interested in all of the gear that i use i have a complete video i will link it in the description box and i will put a little image right here so you guys can know exactly which video it is but um it's all of my gear my vlog gear my youtube gear my lighting mic all of that so um i'm gonna go ahead and get set up and yeah then we're gonna start recording finally all right so this is a little bit of how my setup looks i have my camera right here in the back behind my ring light then I have the ring light I always move that part of the couch over because it like sits right there and I like to be um, kind of in the middle of my desk and my bookshelf kind of like right here and I always make sure that my desk is super clean I keep water right by me because I'm always getting thirsty and if I keep it over here you can't really see it in the shot and then the clipboard or my iPad with my outline on it usually sits right on my lap. So you guys probably see me look down sometimes. And that's because I'm looking at my outline. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to get started recording. And yeah, you guys will see these videos. This first one is about how um, to build your personal brand. And it's some, it's some pretty different tips. Probably some tips that you haven't seen or heard before. And then also, how to get clients. That's always a huge question I get. Hopefully I can get these two videos done by 5.15. That's my goal. Done with the first video, time to do the second one. It took a little longer than I expected. What time is it? It's 5.19, so I probably won't finish this next video in 10 minutes, but um, it shouldn't take as long as the first one. So, here we go. Ugh. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin, and this is Erin On Demand, where we are all about, oh shoot, I was gonna say my old intro. Mom! Should I go back to my old intro? I don't know, because it literally always rolls off my tongue. Why are you asking? Because I had, you still do it sometimes. No, because I started saying a place for entrepreneurs and content creators to build your brand business and impact or something like that. Why? Do you think one is better than the other? No, it's just I'm always about to say <laughs> the first one. What's the second one? I think that one. I mean, I think it's probably more targeted, but it's yeah. just harder to say. Okay, back to the video. A big part of my business is getting new clients so that I can keep making more money. And it is probably the most challenging aspect of business. <laughs> Okie doke, I am done. I just finished the second video and it is 5.55. You see that? It's 5.55 p.m. So, 
Now I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna clean the bathrooms in the house because, you know, I still live with my parents, so I still have chores and still have housework that I have to do. And I'm also going to do my live lesson. And, well, I'm not doing the live lesson. I'm just gonna prepare the live lesson because I do them every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. What's tomorrow's live lesson gonna be on? This month, the, the series is on content. It's like content, content everything. What makes good content, that is the first part of this series. It's really like a class, you know? Teacher Aaron here. Let me know if you like this and tell me what your YouTube process is or what is your least favorite part of, you know, getting ready to record YouTube videos. I would say mine is definitely making the outlines. It's just not my favorite part. Um, I don't know, I just don't really enjoy that, but they are so necessary in making sure that I, um, I stay on topic because it's very easy to veer off and that is how you get people to not want to watch your videos when you keep going off topic. So um, the, the outlines really, really help me. On that note, I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be a part of my internet home, you are more than welcome to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I upload every Wednesday and I've been doing good with my Sundays because I've been uploading on Wednesdays and Sundays. And all of my content is about entrepreneurship, branding, my journey as an entrepreneur, and just um, taking you guys along with me for some fun and just um, lots of high value information. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Peace.